<laughs> All right, so let's see, you're up first. Where's your mag? Right here. Over here? Yeah. 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 So we're shooting the AP, AP5. This is the MP5 clone. Okay, come on up. All right. Okay. Shoot it to your shoulder. Cut your shoulder forward. I, I zeroed it, so it should, it should actually get hits now. Yeah. All right, you see yeah. that? Yep. All right, go ahead. Start slow and then pick up the speed. Down the target after you go bang. Go to a big target and dump it. Nice. Excellent. You come up here. Dump so you know that this was the Fiocchi, right? So we know that your Fiocchi ammo works. You're shooting the normal. Go ahead, shoot your normal. Let's see how that works. Yeah, that works. MP5, AP5. Good. Yeah. Good. Nice. That sounds cool. a little different. I'm gonna dump mine. Right. I'm actually gonna take this out a little bit further. All right. Is it just me? Let's see. We got yeah, camera. Let's see. Let's get some hits at 65 yards. Alright. Uh, let's go for 65 yards. So I got camera. Does this down? Oh, it does dim down. Yeah. Just gonna dim it down a little bit so I can get I can see a little bit better in the shadow. <laughs> 75 yards. Uh, let's try 75 yards. Ooh, there we go. I'm having a hard time seeing it. Let's try it on 100 yards. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Move my camera out. Let's see if I can get 100 yards. Yeah, the one at 100 yards is a lot better lit, so I might get a hit on that. Yeah. I don't think it's spreading out too much. Ah, uh, let's dump it here. Yeah. Okay, so this is the AP5, which is the MP5 clone. Um, so basically we're kind of doing this as a prequel to a whole video that we just did on this So the part you're about to see was actually shot first um, Now one of the things I'm going to say is the recall on this is beautiful I mean this, this thing feels like I'm shooting a 22 almost uh, in this 9 millimeter. So a very very smooth recall with this uh, What's it called? Roll it back delay? Roll delay blowback Roll delay blowback so yeah, definitely when they say that the MP5 is a smooth shooting, this is smooth shooting. Okay, uh, beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's let's play the rest of the video for the people here, and they can sh uh, they can see the details on this gun. All right, we're rolling. Hello, Ben. How are you doing, bud? You got the right toys here. Oh, it depends on what you think. Show us about. Today, yeah, of course, it's talk now because you see. All right, so we've got a very nice uh, toy for you to play with today. We've got a Turkish-made MP5 or an AP5 made by MKE. Uh -huh. So this is the full model, way cheaper than the uh, SP5 that H&K makes. Now, it's a great platform. I know a lot of people think, oh, the MP5 is now for decades. It's, uh, it's old, it's obsolete. That is definitely not the case. There are a couple things to uh, consider about it. Honestly, chiefly, the uh, manual of arms and loading and unloading. You do have to uh, manually lock back the bolt. Okay, show me how that works. So, let me get on the camera make sure I can see it. Go ahead, go a little bit more towards your left. Right there, there you go. Show us how that works, I'll point it down. All right, so now this is also the famous HK slap, but basically, lock it back, and you have to have it locked back so you can load a mag in. And uh, when that happens, you then HK slap, there you go. Okay. Now, when I was, uh, I was kind of playing with it before, earlier. I mean, I, I mean, drive, you know, um, and one of the things like I noticed is like where the grip is over here. Yep. Like I was like, it's, I'm probably not doing it right. It seems to like I don't know my finger kind of gets caught over here, but 
I guess the right that's not the right way to do it. The right way is just yeah. slap it. It's a slightly different manual of arms compared to an AR-15. But right. honestly, once you do it a dozen times or a couple dozen, yeah. it's not hard to pick up. Okay, so but that's the thing to be aware of that because of this thing over here, because of the way you because of the way the grip is set up, you can't. That's not. Uh, can we get to the camera? That's not as easy to do. You kind of have to do that. Yeah, because otherwise absolutely. your hands just not going to fit in there. So that's 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 really interesting. The other interesting thing that stood out, so, um, I think there's an empty bag over there. Yep. Here you go. So this this rocks in, pretty much. So essentially, just rock it like that, and then there you go. Nothing right. to it. So uh, take it out, and put it in. Let me see again how that works. Just like that. Well, there's actually a couple ways you can do it. So um, let me just load this up real quick. Show you again. So. Have it forward so you can uh, do it like I did before, right. just like that. Okay. But then also, so it, it actually doesn't rock in; it goes straight in, but it, it has does, like an AK style catch. It kind of does. Does also, it? does rock in? Kind of, yeah. There are little similarities, but uh, then the other way you can take it out is this little button here. Okay. Just like that. Now, is this standard or is that aftermarket? The button, the, the button release. Oh, that's standard. That is standard. Okay. Yeah. Because when I was uh, kind of handling this earlier, one of the things I noticed, like my finger can barely reach it. So you got. So, so normally, like on an AR, the button's like right here. Right there, yeah. Right there, right. So with this, it is more forward. So that's just something to be aware of that. If you got to reach it, you got to kind of almost come off that's the grip, true. reach forward. You see? Just like that. So it, actually, it seems to be a lot easier to use the paddle. I mean, I, yeah. I, as a right-handed, it, I find it easier to use the paddle. It seems to go straight. I mean, there's a, yeah, there's a little bit of a rock. A but bit, yeah. but it's, it's tiny. Now, as a lefty... For a lefty, that would be easier to use the button. Because for a lefty, that's... Yep, just like that. Yeah, for, so so, so the, the the button release actually favors the lefty on this rather than the righty. Because as a, as a righty, I would definitely want to use a thumb button over here. So that's cool. So And the safety is... Pretty much safety is similar to an Air 15 safety. So yeah. here we go. Shoot, safe, shoot, safe. So to, Same thing. So to start it, you just kick start like an AR. You just kick it that's down. Right. Yeah. Oh, and also one thing to consider too when you get it from the factory. They don't come with uh, an ambi safety selector. So that's definitely a good upgrade to get. And I actually got one. Uh, this one actually got the uh, heck fire trigger in there. So uh, that came with an ambi selector. So it's a bit of a pricey trigger because the other thing you also should consider with the uh, MP5 uh, with the platform is everything is way more expensive versus an AR. So yeah, I mean, yeah. it's worth it. Well, that's it. why I don't have one of these because it goes back. I mean, I've actually, I've shot these something like 12 years ago. Yeah. Um, and then it seemed like everybody was moving away from MP5 towards AR. So I just went to yeah. ARs and AKs. Uh, so I shot, last time I shot it was like 12 years ago. But now that you got it, it's like, wow, this is yeah. really interesting. So different. Um, Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Now with the safety selector, I can just get this. Now it, it, you basically, you do kickstart down, but it doesn't, it does. It doesn't have the same yeah. range of motion as an AR. Yeah, it's slightly different. So, so, so that people know. One, two, wait, wait yeah. one, two. So actually, that was one thing with the Heckfire trigger yeah. selector there. So, so it, it is. Um, there's two safeties I would call it. So that's safe right now, but it can move a bit up. So. So what's the up position? Is that? Is still, it, that's still safe. So okay. So it's got two still. safe positions and one fire position. Pretty much. Yeah. So so down so down all the way down. Uh, wait, yeah, in the almost horizontal position. Hold on, let me see this. Yeah, so the normal... Oh, I see what's going on here. The uh, standard factory trigger won't do that, but I kept doing that when I put so, the heck fire So in. this has a curve on it. Yeah, kind so, of. So if this was straight, uh, if this was... Actually, so this, so this has like a little bit of a curve on it. So, But if this was straight, the horizontal position is actually the fire position. Correct. All right, and then the vertical position, like upward vertical position from there... Yeah. It would be the, would be the safe position, right? They're both safe. So, right, right, right. Like so that's a, that's an like range. Right, yeah, yeah. So because of the curve, now did they do this just to? No, was was this always like this, or did they just do this to match the to the AR style? That's a good question. Uh, you'd have to ask the the uh, Heckfire people that. Okay, but you bought it like this, pretty much. Yeah. Okay, because because it, it's it almost seems to me like this originally might have been when they designed it a, yeah. a just a, a straight safety, in which case the safety would have been horizontal. But then they curved it down so that it would kind of be similar to an AR. That's interesting. That's something I, we got to look up. That's, yep. a, that's a very interesting, interesting feature. So let's see what else is different about this. Because kind of like AR is kind of like the, the, the base that we're comparing it to. That's true. That's yeah. the most common we're thing that everybody that. has. I have ARs. You got ARs. Uh, tell us about. Oh, you, yeah. I, so let's go through some more. What's upgrades. going on over here? So normally, and you can see right here, there's the platform usually has these pins. 
that keep all the parts together and it's once you break it down it's a very uh, simple thing there's just these couple so, pins here and there so these are like like ar takedown pins right Basically, one yeah. here and one back there so there was one there i replaced it with one that takes uh, blue force gear qd okay so uh, that was very uh, very good option overall matches up with uh, what i got here okay so so okay, so now like if you wanted to open it up, how would you like if you like how would you open it up? Are you able to do it easily? Do that? Yep. Just uh, pull it out like this, and uh, all right. So that, so the pin comes out completely. I'll do the other one, but basically you pull this one out also, and then this comes right down. Okay, so the pin, so it's so the pin comes completely out. It's not it's not a retained pin. Now on this one over here, now this is also a QD mount point, right? That's right. Yeah. So what prevents when you mount the QD? What prevents this from just pulling out? I'll screw it in, and just oh, so it's screwed in. You have to unscrew this. Oh, I see. So out. so these things here are are just are, are yeah. screwed in like that. That's what keeps it in place. Now the back and forth rocking that this does. Let me show it's you again. It's just a little bit long. That's just a little bit long. That that doesn't add any function. That doesn't do anything. Yeah. Okay. So these basically these two things, you would have to unscrew them, pull the pin out, yeah. and that's how you upper and lower. We're not going to get into the whole takedown of this yep. uh, in this video because I just want to do like a general MP5. Um, Okay. Alright, so let's see what else stands out. All right. now, I see you've got the uh, EOTech, EOTech on this, right? Yep. All right. All right. Now, with the iron sights, there's no co winners. I mean, it's obviously, it's impossible really. to co winners, right? So that's the reason why I went with the EXPS uh, 3 because of the. Uh I won't take it off right now, but, but it has a, uh, the QD. So it has a QD, really, so you could you would basically just just remove this, yes, and then go to the iron sight. Yeah. So that's that's and that's uh, how you, you would still do see the uh, the irons also over the MFI mount. Over so the so the mount basically it's made by MFI. I think been around for a while, but basically you like put it on here and you clamp it down essentially, and that uh -huh. and it's pretty tight actually, and uh, that's how you mount the pick on it. Wait, so with this mount right now, you can you can actually see through it. Oh yeah, if, uh, if, has if, a the, uh, if the e EXPS was off. Oh, then... I see. You, you still got to remove this, yes. and then the I, I I see, and then the mount has a channel that so the mount itself doesn't interfere with the iron sight. That's right. Yeah, I got it. I understand how that works. Yeah. Now. And now the most important upgrade with this, also yeah. the hardest to find probably, was the nice armament uh, rails, the RAS rails. Okay. With that I had to look quite a bit on Gunbroker for, and they were not cheap. So honestly. these rails right here. Yes. Okay, so that doesn't come standard with the gun. Not at all. Okay, that's kind of weird because I kind of like kind of figured that it might be standard. <laughs> Let's uh, take a closer. Sorry, yeah, to, no, no. sorry to disappoint you there. Yeah, so those rails are not standard. Flip it over to the other side. Let's take a closer. Go. Uh, and then you've got the uh, so it doesn't get too hot, I guess. Not so. You, so you added this little piece here. Yeah. Onto, okay. So th so the issue that I had initially with this with this where I, where I was getting a little bit of interference with um, over here. So th that could just be removed. Yeah, I see now. Okay, so that's um, that's just a cover. That's just a rail cover, and that would give me a little bit more working space. Okay, yeah. I, I I didn't realize that earlier. Right, and then your light is Fire dual fuel. Okay, fifteen hundred lumens. Now is this is this, is that pivot or anything, or is that fixed? It, it does a bit. Okay, it, I mean I left it so you can move it a little bit. So there is so so there is a little bit of movement with that. Yeah. Let me get you over here. All right, let's just push it up. Let's see what anything else. So, so we. Oh yeah, we got the Magpul uh, brace, retractable brace on it. Okay. Don't worry, ATF. This is, I guess, still legal, right? Yeah, we still got like another, I don't know, I guess, sixty or fifty days left or something like that, <laughs> I, I, until the courts. Hopefully, the courts, the courts yeah. step in. Um, so, how how does this move? You push that up. Just push how it do you up adjust? And push it up here, and then just like that. Cool. Nice, and then to, and then to extend it, you pull it, or you gotta push the button again. Oh, you you gotta push the button again, just like that. Yeah, oh, that's interesting. Pretty simple, yeah. Okay. And then you like using the hand stop, the yeah. hand stop also over there. One. Okay, and let's see what else, anything else that stands out on this. Uh, that's it. Now, in the, the magazine was interesting. Oh, here, pull this up. Um, so this is uh, well, this one's empty. I have a loaded one. So this is. A double feed, if it's a double stack, double feed, compared to like your typical pistol one, which is a double stack, single feed. Uh, that's one of the things I picked up earlier. Um, and what we were talking about earlier is that this design, which is basically like an AR design, it makes it, you can have, you can have like a 30 round magazine and it still feeds easier. Whereas with this, with this double stack, single feed, basically the the double stack comes up into one bullet so everything has to kind of compress up here and that's kind of what limits this when they start making this into 30 round magazines th these pistol mags don't do very well they start having yeah. jamming problems whereas this because it's a double stack into a double feed side by side does it have the m4 style uh do they, i mean do they have like those little feed ramps like an m4 does uh 
don't, I don't know if you've ever seen. I don't think you really can. No, Easily. no. So it doesn't. Have, I was just curious if they, if they might have incorporated that. Oh. But I think this was designed prior to the M4s. M4 Probably M4. around the same time. It, well, the AR10 yeah. was definitely around. I, actually, yeah. well, this MP5 came out in 1966. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, the AR15 platform had just came out, but. I don't think H and K had much uh, yeah. communication with uh, Eugene Stoner. Yeah, but that, but that, but the double feed, the the M4 feed ramps came from way later on. So, so that, yeah. so that, that's why it doesn't. I, I, I was just curious if it might yeah. have it or not. That's so, fair. so, so it does. So it just has basically a single. Would it open it up again? Yeah, it looks like it just has a single chamber. You know, there's nothing. Just it just goes into the chamber the way it is. Okay, yeah. that's interesting. I mean, I don't want to focus too much on that because first of all I can barely see it in there. Yeah. Uh, but that but that, I thought that was interesting. One of the things that one of the reasons why this magazine, right, why this 30 round magazine would be more reliable than let's say a Glock 30 round magazine yeah. is because you've got a double feed I'm sorry, you, you got a double column into a double feed versus the Glock style, which is a double column into a single feed. Okay, cool. Yep. Uh, how much of this how much money are you get this? Oh, that's the most important uh, yeah. part to ask. Okay, so <laughs> so this, uh, the AP5 made by MKE, as of uh, right before this video I checked, they're about $1,250. Uh -huh. I think mine, uh, this one, I got it when it was still like 1000 Yeah. I think the uh, AP5K was about 900 but they have gone up in price. You can thank uh, number 46 for the inflation. Uh -huh. <laughs> but either way. Uh, but, so, this, so, so this is $1,200, right? Yes. No, obviously, obviously the optics not included, but but that's with, without the rails or with the rails included. Without the rails. Okay, so how much did you put into it with the rails? Oh, I was hoping to ask, but now the rails I had, to, uh, they were brand new and they were like six hundred bucks. All right, so you got so the rails by themselves are six hundred dollars. Yeah, I was lucky to find it there because they don't. <laughs> Knights Armament hasn't made the RAS rails for the MP5 since twenty nineteen. Okay, but that's interesting because initially I'm like, yeah. okay, twelve hundred dollars, it's not that much more expensive than an AR. Yeah. But but like if you, but normally when you get an AR, yeah. it it comes with you know the you know I mean it's ready to go with an M lock system. That's true. Yeah. So like so, I said earlier, everything yeah. with the MP5 is way more expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even like what's the average like mag price? You would say like what, yeah. 15, 20 bucks, right? Yeah, yeah. But yeah. like these ones are like 50, 60 bucks. Piece, 60 dollars. So, yeah. Okay. So so I'm I'm just trying to piece this whole thing here together. Mm -hmm. So you got twelve hundred dollars. You do the math, right? In your head, all right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm pulling out the numbers. I'm just I'm just I'm just adding to us. So we got now they came with the brace. Uh, brace you have to buy them uh, separately. Oh, so the brace is separate. Okay. Yeah. So we got twelve hundred mm -hmm. plus how much in the brace? One fifty. Okay, okay one fifty for the brace. Okay, and then the rails you said was six hundred. Six hundred. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, we're up to nineteen fifty. Yep. Okay. Good. Now with the uh, the light, the show files are more expensive. Two fifty. Yeah. Uh, two fifty. So. Okay. So uh, slightly used. Yeah, twenty two hundred. Twenty two hundred, and then the EOTech. You got it. I think I may have got it for like five. 50 because I definitely got it for a discount, but EXPS 3s are usually around 7. Okay. okay. So 29, between 27, yep. 15, 29. Oh, and, then, okay. and does that include the rail? Oh, that actually. The rail was like 100 bucks. 100, so 100 plus 100 dollars. So, so it's either 2800 yep. or 3000. HK parts also, 3, great website. I, so, so, oh, and then you got the hand stop. Hand stop was another uh, probably 50 ish. So 2700 to 3000. I, so I, th also, I think we can add because then you had this little add-on thing yeah, here, and, right? and also the heck fire trigger was five hundred. Oh, wait, the trigger by itself is five hundred. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's killing so up here, man. Right? Yeah. No, but it all sounds like it's a lot, and it honestly is. But here's the thing, though: <laughs> yeah. 3,500, 3, yeah. and you've already got it all kitted up and good to go. Yeah, versus an SP5 made by HK, mm -hmm. those are going for three thousand yeah. on their own, and they probably have gone up to like I wouldn't be surprised if they're like closer to thirty-five hundred these days with uh -huh. the inflation. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. So, but, anyway, but as far as what we got right here, and, I, and I'm not saying it's good or bad. I'm just saying it's what it is, you know. Um, but so your base, your base was 1,200. That's where we yeah. started from. And then, I, 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 wow, 500 dollars for the trigger. I mean, I, I, I mean, I got binary triggers, which I paid 400. So I guess yeah. it's not that crazy. Uh, but yeah, so you started off with a base of about 1,200 dollars, yeah. yep. and then you worked this up to 3,000 dollars. Yeah. Congratulations, man. You win. That's, 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 that's more upgrade than I ever did to any gun. Yeah. Let's fire this sucker. Go ahead. All right. All right. Uh, yeah, put it on the table. Okay, go. Right, go ahead. 
Yeah, keep the big target. Oh, right, the big target, and you can keep the little ones if you get one with the big target. The zero might be slightly off, but uh, see what we got. I think we got to take the zero, man. Yeah. You put the safety on. Hold on. Let me, let, let me fire a couple of shots. Let's see if it's the zero or if it's, or if it's you. <laughs> All right. That's Hold on. Let's, okay. let's check that out. It's shooting slightly right. All yeah. right. Let's see if it's a zero or if it's you. All right. Oh, right. you're on my camera. Let's go. Oh. Did that tag? Here we go. Okay. Yeah, you, we gotta adjust it. It's shooting our left. All right. So let's try. Inside of the circle, the inside, the left inside of the circle on the target to get the hit. Okay. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, see how this doesn't doesn't lock back on the last round. No, it doesn't. Okay, so it does not have a last round bolt holder. It's kind of like my Palmettos. They don't have... <laughs> not at all. <laughs> Hold on. Let's pause this and we're going to put the new guy on this. Hold on. All right. Wait, Wait why are we not opening up? Come over here. You have to open. Why is it not open? I have to open on it. I thought... Oh, so... So we had last one failed to eject the tape. Let's see what happened with that. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, that's an interesting strike. We'll have to collect those. It's, it's also not that great ammo. So. Yeah, we'll, we'll, it's striking it very funny. Yeah. We'll, we'll compare it. We'll, we'll use the same ammo in a different gun. Okay. But are, are these like plus speed loads or anything? Because they actually look like the, like the primer's almost getting pushed out a little bit. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Like it, almost like it's overcharged. Hmm, it might be. Well, either way, it's some crappy range ammo, so. That's interesting. Uh, let me pause the camera, load up another mag. Let's try, let's put the Stefan on it. Okay. All right, All right come on. Uh, let's start. Let me get Stefan up here. All right. Stefan, did you say, is this the first time shooting? First time. The first time shooting, all right. All right, so let's lock. So I, I already told you the safety rules. We'll do it one more time. Basically, gun stays pointed at the target, fingers off trigger until you're ready to shoot. You shoot all guns like the loaded. What you're going to do is you're going to put your, your righty. Are you? Righty. Do quick eye dominance. Make a small hole like that. Yeah. Smaller, tiny one. Okay? Keep staring, bring it back to your face. Touch your face. Touch your face. Both eyes open. All right, do that one more time. Both eyes open. Mm -hmm. Bring it back to your face. Touch your face. No, you got to look through the hole. No, no, no. Okay, guess what? You're lucky. Yeah. We're going to your left eye. Left oh, you knew you were lefty. Okay. Yeah. All right, good. That's good. Because the camera's come on this side. All right. <laughs> so, load it and put the safety on. Okay. So, what you're going to do is you're going to put your left foot back, right. hold the gun all the way here to the top, right? Right. Put your hand here, pull this. I'm not going to say it out loud because the ATF is listening, so we don't want to say it. But if this was not a pistol, you would. Right. Pull this into your chest. Right. We're not doing it today, but that's what you would do if this was a, ri a rifle. Right. But since it's a pistol, we're not doing it. Okay. So you're gonna position this correctly. Right. Okay. Put put uh, touch your cheek to the rail over here. Look in the glass. You can see the big circle. Okay. Right. Uh, the, we haven't zeroed this. So when you see the big circle, mm -hmm. you're gonna see a, a little hash on mm -hmm. the left side. Yes. Put the hash on the target, and you should be able to hit it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So hold this. All right. All right, hold that. Okay. Bring that here. Okay. Cup, your, cup it forward. Right. Look in the glass. Move your head forward a little bit. Good. All right, you see You see the big circle? Yes. You see the big red circle yes. in the glass? Yes, yes. Okay, you see the hash on the left side? Correct. All right, good. I'm going to take your safety off. Good. Put the soft part of your finger on the trigger. Okay. Right there, the soft part. Right. Okay, put the left hash on the target and gently press it. Keep aiming while you press. Okay. Good. Right. Go through the big target. Let me see you get a hit on the big, big white one. Good, man. Go to the small, small white one to the right of that. 
Take the mash on it, right in the center. Right in the center. Yeah, go through the small red ones hanging on the wood. Yeah, do it again. Nice. Yeah, that's it. Alright, okay, right. keep going. Yeah, go through the big target and dump it, one after the other. Go. Go, 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 go. Uh huh. Alright, hold on. Alright, right, come over here. Right. Come check your gun. Nice for the ammo. Pick up the ammo. What ammo is this? Ah, uh, some crappy one I bought a while back. Take it. Hmm, you're, gonna, you're gonna have to crank it back. Alright. There you go, you got it. So I think that these. Yeah, put it down for a second. I'm gonna get a different ammo because now I'm curious. It seems like these primers again, again hit in a weird way. Yeah, and honestly, this ammo was running weird in G43X. I, you remember that one before, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that's the one that we did another video on. I'm gonna get some different ammo, and we're just gonna see if that works better. I'm, I'm gonna pause the camera for a second. All right, so this is the most important gun test of all gun tests. Oh, We're gonna see if it shoots Tula. All right. Because you know that's like you know if it can't shoot Tula, you know if it doesn't, if, if it can't eat uh, steel. Doesn't deserve brass. That's the thing, right? <laughs> sure. So let's see if I'll eat the tool. Yeah. All right. It likes tool. <laughs> yeah. It, likes it, it gun right. passes. All right. It passed the test. It's too light. It's good to go, baby. Nice. <laughs> good stuff, man. Nice gun, man. Nice to stick around. Why don't you come up here? Let me put you on the on this bad boy over here. Oh, now yeah. this has got the. Uh, it's got the bad stuff. Yeah, that's got the bad ammo. Uh, right. Let's see. Uh, let's see how it works with the with the drum. Actually, your left is going that side. All right. Okay. Look at this bad boy. Nice. <laughs> Alright, hold that. You. Come over here. Alright. Okay, lean into it. Alright, good. So remember, you're using the less left hash mark, okay? Yeah. Go ahead. Alright. Keep the left. You gotta keep the left, hash, left hash mark on the target after the gun goes bang. Put it up for a second. Uh, uh, for, uh, for a hey Ben, you come up here. All right. So if you're righty, I want I want to get you in the video. Yeah. Because you're right-handed, so there's a few more guns. All right. Go ahead. Unload. Dump. Dump. Here we go. Another gun. All right. Hmm. Weird. I think we need more Tula. We might. <laughs> One second. It also might be the P Meg drum. Yeah, a little. Oh, there we go. What, what's up with the drum? Uh, no, it wasn't feeding right. So. All right. Hmm. Weird. All right. Put the stick mag. Get the get. All right. Let's try it. Dump it. Dump it. Dump it. Ah. Uh, all right. I can see the case is stuck in there. All right. All right it's, take it's, the take the stick mag. Let's see if the stick mag works better. All right. Yeah, it does not like that ammo. Nice. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Sergeant Major Munitions, that's where it was from. Sergeant Major Munitions? Yeah, but is that the, is that the distributor or yeah. is that the actual brand? Huh? Manufacturer. That's the manufacturer? Yeah, avoid that shit. <laughs> this is not worth it. But wait a second, Sergeant Major, I thought they uh they did like, um I thought they were like a, uh, like nickel coated ammo. Yeah, that's not. Uh, Whatever, all right. Yeah, because that stuff is clearly brass. Yeah. No, all right. Brass plated steel. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, it works. With, well, it works with Tula, so it must be good. 
<laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Ben, for bringing us this uh, MP. Wait, it's not an MP5. What's the, it's, a, it's an MP5 clone, right? Yeah, so the other thing to mention. So say the name of it correctly so, because I'll never be able to say it. So it's a Turkish made MP5 called the AP5, made by a company called MKE. So they make it actually with HK tooling and stuff. So the machines are all HK built and everything. So it practically is an MP5, just with a, uh, it's just cheaper, pretty much. Cheaper, okay. So base 1200 with all the uh, extra shit you put on it, three grand. Awesome, man. Thank you very much for bringing us this gun to check out, man. Of course.